This is what's keeping me home this morning. And that may make a lot of you in Eastern Canada or in certain parts of the United States. It may really make you laugh. Let's get stuck in. <laughs> Well, I'm very pleased with this because before I started, this whole rack here was full of hanging clothes. And I've managed to get all of my hanging clothes, including my coats, down to this maybe 18 inch bar. We'll be storing things in here um, at my daughter's home. And I can come back and change out seasonal clothes. So I'll be putting more things in here before I move out. But it's a good size closet to get to walk in. Well, that's it. Job well done. I'm pretty pleased it's at the start. If I can just get a little bit done every day, um, I'll be in a really good place by the time it's time to move out. So. I'm having my moments of going, oh my God, what am I doing? Are any of you out there that are already living full time or thinking about it or going part time? Um, any of you have those kind of moments where you think, well, what the heck am I doing? <laughs> but more than any little moments of anxiety that come up, I am really, really excited. I think I'll throw in the Ikea haul here and anything that I might find at Home Depot. Look at that view. Snow in the mountains. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Zia. Um, it's March 1st and the snow has uh, receded here in Richmond and so I am now in the parking lot at Home Depot. So uh, going to look for some flooring for the van and um, possibly some paint and who knows what else. I just did a haul of decor pieces for my van. So I will show you the haul when I get home. Most of you know from looking at my other videos, this has been the color scheme in the van up to this point. And I chose this bedding to tie in the color of the walls and the ceiling with the color of the cabinets, which I really didn't like. So before I can bring in my new color scheme, I have to um, paint the walls. And I know you're gonna say, well, how are you gonna do that? Because as you can see, it's a textured fabric. And the ceiling, all the way along, the whole ceiling and the side walls are all this textured velvety material but I promise you it can be painted. I'm sorry the lighting is not very good in here right now. The sun keeps coming in and out and the clouds are coming over. In fact the shot I just showed, I think I just showed unless I cut it out, um, of the North Shore Mountains, um, you can't see them now. I think it's snowing over there again. They've had quite a lot of snow at higher elevations. Um, Yes, yeah, so I apologize for the lighting in here, but as I said just a moment ago, um, I do have to paint all of this sort of turquoisey teal color. And wouldn't you know, one of the paint companies, I forget which one it was, has said that um, this is kind of the color of the year. This is the 2023 color and I'm getting rid of it. But um it's time for a change for me. I want to freshen things up. I was never happy with the color scheme on the inside. And um, so I'm really looking forward to this project. Um, I have painted um, 
liners in vans before. I had a very small Transit Connect XLT um, a couple of years ago, and um, I'll put some I'll put some little clips of it in here. I have any video of um, the complete build out that we did in it. My son-in-law mainly, but um, I did a lot of the insulation and all of the painting and all of the decor. That little van, it was very, very tiny. In fact, it turned out to be too small for me and almost made me give up on my dream of uh, traveling in the van. Uh, but I decided, no, I wasn't going to give up on it. Uh, I was just going to get a bigger van, and so now I've got Luna. Um, but the the roof liner in that van was a really dark gray, and the space was so small already that I knew I need to lighten it up. And so I painted the whole ceiling in it um, white, and um, it took very well. I just used a roller, and I think it was some white ceiling paint that we had left over, and it worked fine so uh, I'm gonna do the same in here I'm gonna test it um, my back doors uh, the panels below the windows are the same material so I think I'm gonna do a test patch back there but it's gonna be quite a job there's a lot of material in here but what a difference it's gonna make I'm gonna do it in a warm white and um, then Prime, sand, prime, and paint the cabinets, and um, finish taking out all the window coverings. I've taken the one out on this side. Um, all of them are coming out because they all work on sliders. Let's see if I've got a couple of them here. So there's these little tracks which go on each side of the window. And then there are snaps on the fabric panels so you can slide them up and then um, secure them with these. But all the snaps are broken. The panels hang in a funny angle and they actually block out quite a bit of light too. So I'm going to be making my own um, inserts for the window. Also, I'm going to, as I said before, I'm going to replace the floor. Let me show you what I have down there right now. So at the moment, there's a really old piece of discolored lino underneath this jute mat. I'm not going to take out the old lining uh, or the old lino. I'm just going to give it a really good clean. And I've picked up a package of um, peel and stick vinyl, solid vinyl planks in a wood grain. So I still want to have some warmth in here, and um, I was worried about, you know, if I paint all the walls and the ceiling, and then I paint the cabinets, um, am I going to lose that warm feeling in here? I think it'll be good to put some more wood grain back into it, just not quite so orange as this stuff. Part of the reason for, for choosing um, just peel and stick planks is that I don't, I've never used, um, you know, electric saws or jigsaws or anything like that. Not that I don't think I, I wouldn't be able to. I just don't have access to that. I figured this would be the quickest and the cheapest and the easiest way for me to give the floors a clean, fresh look. So now let's show you what I got at Ikea. In order to make the window coverings, I picked up this set of bedding. It's several shades of uh, green. And then for the bedding, I chose uh, a duvet cover and with two pillow shams. My bed is a double, so this will do quite nicely. It's got a really lovely pattern that reminds me a little bit of a William Morris print. It wasn't very expensive either. And I absolutely love the colors in it. I'm going to uh, try and pick out some of the softer greens in it um, for the cabinet. These are some of the colors that I'm looking at for the cabinets. 
as I said, the ceiling and the walls are going to be sort of a, a, a warm white, a creamy white. And then there are, um, gee, I wish you could see these colors better. You can see them a little bit better here. They're sort of soft, sagey, silvery green colors. I haven't picked one yet. These were the closest I've found so far. One of them is um, this one here, Jungle Camouflage, is a bare paint. And the others are Benjamin Moore, but uh, I haven't made a decision yet on that. As accents, well, actually, let's do the flooring next. So the flooring is going to be this light colored wood. I think it's quite, uh, quite warm looking, but still won't darken the space too much. As uh, accent pieces, this is also Ikea. It's in a shiny uh, gold metal. And there are all kinds of accessories, including these little pots for holding things. This is a paper towel holder. The, um, the hanging pot, it actually came with a white one, and I haven't decided yet. I, I did pick up this green one, too. I'll show you the difference. Which I thought was really pretty. Whether I put a plant in it, or cutlery or I don't know what but uh, anyway this is kind of the look I'm going for and um, I'll have a better idea about how that's all going to come together once I start doing some of the painting. I forgot to say the name of the um, the wall system for the kitchen and um, I'll insert a picture of it that I took at Ikea. So those are the uh, the plants for the van. Let me know what you think about colors and choices and should I paint all of the walls and all of the ceiling or just some of it or yeah let me know what you think. I'm really excited to get started on it but I have to continue to clear out my apartment too so it's going to be a busy few months. Um, please hit the like button and helps the algorithm on the uh, on the YouTube channel and um, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe but it really helps my channel and um, share or hit the bell if you want to be notified when there's another video coming up. Wherever you are I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll say bye bye for now.